Hey guys, welcome back to Broke Man's Finance, one of the most unique channels on YouTube when talking about finance or investments. We're not here to show you our million dollar portfolio, which I don't have, or our get rich quick scheme, or how to turn $500 into $500,000. This channel is not about that. This channel is for one thing only, to show you the things we learn as two regular guys with two regular jobs, making less than six figures a year, that we learned through the School of Hard Knocks. We had a bumpy road, we've learned some great things, we've made some mistakes on things. And this channel is just to show you what we have learned, what we have encountered on our road, whether it's a mutual fund, whether it's dealing with Robinhood, fractional shares, etc. Hope you like the channel. So several years ago, I read a book called Rich Dad Poor Dad, written by Robert Kiyosaki and it opened my eyes initially to the world of investing. Prior to that, I thought you had to have a lot of money in order to make a lot of money. However, it's very opposite. You have to start somewhere, whether it's $5, $50 in a Robinhood account or a Webull account, or several thousand dollars in a mutual fund account, or you're buying, taking several million dollars and buying into a hedge fund account. You have to take that initial step in order to get the ball rolling. So once I knew I wanted to get into the investing world, Stumble across another guy named Dave Ramsey. Phenomenal guy. Check him out. YouTube him. Google him. He's a wealth of knowledge. And he brings more of a practical and simple approach to budgeting, which once you budget, it allows you to put more money into your investments. But he made a comment that made a light bulb go off for me. And he said, the S&P 500 in the last 30 years has averaged around 8% interest annually meaning that whatever money you have in an account associated with the s p 500 it's going to grow on average eight percent now of course some years you go to 12 percent some years you go to six percent thus giving you that eight percent average the past 30 years but he talks about putting six hundred dollars a month roughly into a mutual fund or some type of 401k some type of fund that's balanced and for 30 years if you put six hundred dollars a month into that fund at the end of 30 years you don't have right at a million dollars into a fund. And you may not have $600 a month to put every month into a fund for 30 years to achieve that million dollar status. But you don't have to. That's the thing. Yeah, you may not earn as much interest to hit that million dollars in that 30 year window, but you may only have $50 sometimes. Some months you may have $75. The point is you have to, you have to take that initial step. You have to take that step of faith. You have to be able to use self-discipline Take that money, put it aside, and let it work for you. Now, I'm going to pull up the Vanguard website. Now, Vanguard, there's many, many companies out there that service mutual funds or any other type of investment. I chose Vanguard several years ago because I had a friend that worked for Vanguard. Um, he wasn't an a investment advisor. He just worked for Vanguard and doing clerical stuff. And I associated him with Vanguard, and I chose Vanguard. I went to the website. It was very user-friendly which I'm going to show you in a little bit. And I just kind of browsed through, didn't really at the time really know what I was looking at, and I just selected a fund. So the purpose of this is I've learned some mistakes along the way on selecting my mutual fund. Kind of show you how easy it is and what to look for, what different terminology means. And I hope that if you never had a mutual fund or never looked at a mutual fund, it kind of give you a little brief snapshot of what it can do for you and what to look for when you're trying to set up a mutual fund. Let's go take a look. I have several tabs here. Easiest way to go to investing, slide down to Vanguard Mutual Fund. Now, Vanguard is a one stop shop for all your investment needs. As you can see, they have ETFs, they have stocks, CDs, cash options, your IRAs, your college saving plans, 401ks, etc. Since we're just talking about mutual funds, I'm going to select on mutual fund. Slide on down here to it says browse Vanguard funds by asset class. So like that, what it's gonna do is I'm gonna bring up about 131 the last time I checked style mutual funds that Vanguard services and or offers through their company. Scroll down here, the first thing is a money market fund. Money market funds are offered through almost any financial institution. They're a very low yielding, meaning they, they're not gonna make you rich quick. Uh, they're very low producing mutual funds, but they're also very, typically safe in a volatile market. You see uh, slide over here is year to date. 
these funds, the federal money market, prime money market, treasury market, which is closed, uh, half a percent, 10 year average is less than 1%. So I'll take you down to the very first mutual fund that I purchased. Like I said, this was many years ago, um, stumbled onto it, didn't know much about it. Can't really tell you now why I selected it, but I'll talk about some of the pros and cons that mutual fund has. As you see, I'm scrolling through here. There's some tax exempt. We got the balance funds, some target more um, like target retirement funds, are very balanced. You can select all the way from 2020 to 2065. They're going to be similar to a 401k if you select conservative or aggressive based on their portfolio composition. So we go to traditional, and this is the very first fund I purchased, and it is the Wellington Fund. If you click, just before we click on it, you see a little brief snapshot. Year to date is down right at 7%. Of course, a lot of things are down as um, far as fund wise this year just because of the coronavirus and the unemployment and the stay at home orders, et cetera, et cetera. But the one year average is around 2.5%. You're looking at 6.6% .6 for five year, 10 year, 8%. And here's the thing to look at. I think this is one of the things that initially attracted me to this. This fund is a very old fund. And it was established July 1st, 1929. So since 1929, it has averaged around 8.22% interest, which coincides with what like Mr. Dave Ramsey talks about. The S&P 500 the last 30 years has averaged around 8%. So let's click on this fund and pull up the overview of it. So when you select any type of fund, it's going to give you an overview, and it's just going to walk you through the basics of the fund. Look to the right, it says fun facts. Follow the mouse, it comes down. One of the few differences on a mutual fund to money markets, to stocks, et cetera, that you have to pay attention to is some mutual funds, especially through Vanguard. I don't know every company out there, but I do know Vanguard. This one has a minimal investment of $3,000. So what it means is you have to have $3,000 initially to purchase this mutual fund, to buy into it. Some mutual funds have a $1,000 uh, minimum. Some even have higher than five, I've seen $10,000. So let's keep scrolling down. To the left, you got price and yield. That's the current price per share of this mutual fund. I'll highlight it there for you. And then over to the right, it's gonna give you risk potential. So one is being very conservative. Number five is very risky, but it's also the potential for more reward. This is a very balanced fund. It's a moderate fund. It's right there slap in the middle. One of the things that really attracted me to Vanguard when I read Robert Kiyosaki's book, started listening to Dave Ramsey, started watching the other guys on YouTube, is this hypothetical growth. So what this says over here, if you to the right of the screen where my mouse is going around, in 2010, if you put $10,000 into this mutual fund, compound interest alone with a market earning around 8% roughly each year, you would have doubled your money in 10 years. Doubled your money. Folks, that's not working extra shifts. That's not sweating extra. That's not breaking your back. That's just letting your money be little soldiers, go out there and fight for you and bring your goodies back home. You're doubling your money in a passive environment. So scrolling down a little more, it shows the portfolio composition. The majority of this fund is stocks, which that's why it's in more of the moderate up to the more risky. It's got some bonds, 33% bonds which is puts, again puts in the middle, and it's got some short-term reserves. Now here's the thing that really stands out on mutual funds. Vanguard being one of the leading mutual fund companies in the entire world. It'll tell you here on each of their funds, the month and 10 largest holdings. So obviously you can see it says Microsoft, you have Apple, JP Morgan, Bank of America, Pfizer, McDonald's, Verizon. So this is why mutual funds are a great way to be as a beginner investor or just as a you not want to take that huge risk is diversification. If you in this fund, we see we have tech, tech technology stocks, we have uh, financial stocks, we have pharmaceutical stocks, we got consumer stocks. That's just the top 10. There's more companies in there, but this again is the month end 10 largest holdings. So that's one thing that creates that balanced environment for mutual funds where you don't have to have $3,000 and put it to Apple and hope that Apple is on to grow 8% the next year or so and then you're gonna make your money. That's for separate videos, that's for a separate topic, 
separate style investment investing. If you just have three thousand dollars, you have five thousand dollars. You put your initial investment into a portfolio such as this. Again, there's many out there. This is just one I'm familiar with. And then you continue to put that money, that fifty dollars a month, that five hundred dollars a month, a thousand dollars a month, whatever you can do each month or bi-weekly or each day into this mutual fund, it's just gonna help it grow it even more. I'm gonna grow up to the top. I hope this was again, this is just a brief overview snapshot of what a mutual fund is. I'm familiar with the Vanguard funds because this was my very first fund. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section. I like, you know, there's something I can answer for you. I'm not a certified financial advisor. I haven't been to school, you know, I don't have my master's or my doctorate in finances, but I have been through the school of hard knocks. That's what Broke Man's Finance is all about. It's showing you the things we've learned through the bumpy roads of investing the things we've learned, we'll try to show you so you don't do wrong, things that maybe you could do better. Um, if, you, if you liked the video, like the video, hit that subscribe button, let us know what you think. We're open to constructive criticisms. And again, thanks for watching. We hope to see you next time.